Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. I know it's been a while, but I haven't been able to film at home because the weather in Australia has been so bad lately and every time I go to film, I sit in front of my window and it just goes all dark and it starts to pour with rain. So today I'm in Nicole's lovely background just because her lighting is very nice today and she's very kindly letting me use her room. So today I have a sort of funny video planned for you, but my friend gave me this idea to do um, this Would You Rather and he found it online so I'll definitely have the link below and I had a little look and it looks really hard so I thought it might be funny to try and do it on camera. Okay, so the first question is, would you rather be forced to wear socks for the rest of your life or be allowed to only wash your hair once a year? Um, this one's really hard. I think I would rather wear wet socks the rest of my life because you don't always have to wear socks like you wear sandals and thongs and things like that and I couldn't take washing my hair once a year no, no amount of dry shampoo could hide that no would you rather have a finger as a tongue or a tongue as fingers yes a finger as a tongue because you can always keep your mouth shut like I think having like tongues like like this just like you wouldn't be able to grab anything, it would all be like wet and slimy and just... I don't think that's very nice. Would you rather wear someone else's dirty underwear or use someone else's toothbrush? I think I would use someone else's toothbrush because you can always put it under boiling water and scold it before you use it yourself. Whereas someone's dirty underwear is just... <laughs> it's gross. I don't want to wear someone's dirty undies. Would you rather poo bricks or puke slugs? Puking slugs is so gross, like Harry Potter. I feel like pooing bricks would hurt though. I think I would rather puke slugs because I guess you puke less than you poop. You puke less than you poop, I think. I would you rather pee yourself in public once a week or poo yourself in private daily? I think I would rather poo myself in private because at least no one can know and you can just whip off your pants and change. Whereas you're peeing in public and I don't know about you but I don't want that kind of public embarrassment I guess you could wear nappies and stuff but in the picture you can see it and I don't think I like that would you rather always have to tell the truth or always lie I think I would go with always have to tell the truth because your lies in the end they'll eventually catch up to you and it'll all just go wrong so I think definitely always would you rather never have access to the internet again or never be able to take an airplane anywhere I think I would go never have to take a plane anywhere and I would buy myself a private helicopter. Would you rather be in the real life version of American Horror Story or be in the real life version of The Walking Dead? I think I would go Walking Dead because, I don't know, I could kill some zombies whereas the American Horror Story is really scary. Would you rather only be able to whisper everything or only be able to shout everything? Um, I think I would only like to whisper things because I feel like shouting you would lose your voice a lot. People would just be like, what's wrong with you? Why are you always yelling? And then you would never be able to go to a, a library or anything or any place quiet because just be like shouting all the time. And just imagine like it's completely silent and you're just like, can you pass the tomato sauce in a restaurant or something like that? Would you rather run your tongue down a New York City sidewalk or press your tongue into a stranger's nostril? I think I would rather run my tongue down New York City sidewalk. Sticking your tongue in someone else's nose is... Nah, that, that's gross. Street, maybe, oh, I don't know. But in someone's nose, nostril? You don't know what's up there? Would you rather find true love or win the lottery? I would rather find true love and win the lottery. Nicole says finding true love is winning the lottery. Would you rather fight off a dog-sized cockroach or a horse-sized rat? Now me and my friends had a very big discussion about this and most of us, except my one friend Lauren, who you met before, she said she would rather fight off the dog-sized cockroach and the rest of us said horse-sized rat. Because can you just imagine how f cockroaches look freaky enough as is? Can you imagine one the size of a dog. What if it's like a Great Dane or something? Some giant cockroach is chasing you. I don't know how you would kill a horse-sized rat, but I would not want a giant cockroach chasing after me. Like, there's not enough bug spray in the world to kill that. Just could you imagine all the legs? So I am fighting off my horse-sized rat, and I'm gonna get a baseball bat, and I'll just like 
clonk it across the head or something. Would you rather immerse yourself in a bathtub of spiders or in a bathtub of tobacco spit? So I would rather immerse myself in a bathtub of tobacco spit because I don't want to get bitten by a spider. You can die. What if it's a red back is in there? I Spiders in Australia. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> like Australia. So I'd rather immerse myself in a bathtub of someone else's tobacco spit because I don't want to die. Would you rather receive a lifetime supply of meals from your favorite restaurant, lifetime supply of free petrol? Well, I am getting my peas very soon. Basically, it means in Australia you can drive around by yourself, like you don't need your adult with you anymore. And I think I would definitely go free petrol. Would you rather have a photographic memory or be able to totally forget anything you want? Photographic memory, all the way. If you really want to forget something that much, you just block it out. Like, photographic memory, you could remember so many like precious moments in your life. You would hardly even need a camera because you're just able to remember it. And think how much that would help in your exams and tests and stuff. You could just like and you know the whole page. Okay, so thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed. I found that really challenging but it was also really fun. So thank you very much to my friend Brad for the idea and I make sure I'll leave the link below so you can give it a go and definitely um, leave two or three of the questions in the comments because I think that would be really funny and um, how about you give me a thumbs up and subscribe because I haven't asked you to do that before so I think that'd be pretty cool and I hope you have a wonderful day or night. Bye! Swat.